Hello, this is Hopi and Tanner coming to you live from our studio. And today I wanted to encourage you. Let's see here. We're going to have our, um, yeah, I'll outline yours. We're going to do a nest today. We're going to talk about if you know any young mothers, this is for them. And um, so young moms, any, any moms really, but in um, Isaiah 40, let's see, Isaiah 40, it says, verse 11, he tends his flock like a shepherd. We already drew a sheep. He tends his flock like a shepherd and he gathers the lambs in his arms. He carries them close to his heart and he gently leads those that have young. And so that's the part we're going to do today. He gently leads those that have young. And so I want you to think about a mom who's at home with a bunch of little kids. And that's who we're painting for today. So we're going to start with our paper. We're going to do it horizontal today, landscape. And um, we're going to start with our pencil. And I'm going to do a little... Do you want me to do yours first? Yes. So I'm going to do Hope's first. Hope is such a good co-host. Can you tell them what happened today? I'm starting by drawing a branch, just so while she's talking, you can know what I'm doing. What happened? Who just came? Who came over to our house? Did somebody come and bring something? Yeah, somebody bring cookies. And somebody brought cookies? Yes. Are they all for mommy? No. Can I eat them no. only in the pantry? No. No? Owls. Who do you want to make this for? I, I guess the... Who's... Taylor. Taylor? Okay, so let's do two eggs, because in Taylor's family, there's two little girls. So, so what I'm doing right now, I'm going to no, walk you through Aaliyah, it. Aaliyah, Aaliyah. Oh, Aaliyah. Okay, how about Aaliyah. three eggs, because there's three kids in her family. Okay, so three eggs in her basket, in her little nest. So, this is what we're doing so far. I'm going to walk you through it because that's Hope's. So, Hopey, if you want to go ahead and start painting it in, you can. You can use those brushes and that paint. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm drawing out a twig. And in nature, nothing is ever symmetrical. So, hold on to your hats. So, this is my little branch. And I'm going to bring it down. It's not going to be... Definitely not going to be symmetrical, and it's going to get smaller as we go on. And then out here, I'm going to come and I'm going to paint more branches as we get farther out. Okay, is this the color? so that that is a beautiful color, and you can do blue eggs if you want. You want to wipe it off? There you go. Okay, now we can't wipe it off again. So now with our nest, I'm going to make two little markings to start. This is just the the outside of my nest. And then I'm going to make this for a friend with three kids. For a friend, for, if you have a friend like me, you might just make one just for fun with three eggs. <laughs> but because uh, I would, it, it would take a lot to get six eggs in there. Um, so here we go. You can make one for your mom, even for Mother's Day. So I have my three eggs in here. And then I, all I'm doing is just little X's. I'm going around, I'm just doing X's to kind of do all the little twigs that a bird gathers to make their nest for their young. And we're just wanting to encourage moms that might feel like they're alone, like feel like they're going crazy. Trapped at home. Those are beautiful. Hope is doing Easter egg colors on her eggs because she is ready for Easter. Are you excited about Easter? Yes. What are you hoping for for your Easter basket? I don't know yet. You don't know? Yet. Who do we celebrate at Easter? Jesus. Because is he dead? No. No, what happened? He came alive. He came alive. Very good. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I have my twig, and then I have a bunch of crosses that are going to be my nest, and then I have my eggs. And so then we're going to draw some light, um, some light lines. Let's see. Um... I'm going to do a little kind of a semicircle. And again, this one I'm going to erase. So this little semicircle I'm going to erase. So I want to do it very lightly. Now I've already put water in these. I'm going to do my wording in blue 
And then I'm going to do eggs in blue. And then obviously I'm going to use brown for these things. So I'm going to come first with brown over my twig. I'm sorry, did I get that on you? Here, look. I have a... I just painted hope. That's not what I'm supposed to do, am I? No. I get a I get a bad a demerit right there. Hey, it's fine, Mom. <laughs> Thanks. And my mom. Well, thank you. So with this paint, I'm gonna bring it down, make my little twigs. Yesterday, if you watched, I'm very sorry. I ended very abruptly. I just said I've got to go because there was a blood curdling scream, and Judah. I had no idea he had fish hooks in his bedroom because he loves fishing, but apparently he was ready to go fishing. That was the plan is after I painted, I was going to take him fishing. Well, he didn't get to go because he stuck a fish hook in his foot, not on purpose, <laughs> but I was just baffled. So we had to end the painting assignment quite early because of the fish hook incident. Okay, so as you can see, I've just brought a bunch of different kind of organically shaped uh, twigs right over here. I can bring a few more down. So just to make it look a little bit realistic. And then I'm going to come in here, paint my shadows, like kind of the inside of the egg with a darker brown. And then I'm going to come with a yellow to do the outside of the egg. Now I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to let that kind of dry. And we can even have kind of some sprigs out here where we just, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to do very, very uh, light blue on my eggs. So remember, if you would like to use watercolor pencils, that's a great way to get started on the lettering. Hi, Caitlin Covington. I miss you guys. Um, so it's a great way to get started on your lettering. It's an easy way. Um Oh, that's okay, baby. Don't worry. So right now, I'm going to come and we're going to start with our wording. He gently leads those that have young. You may even share this with some of uh, a young mom that you know. and She could do it during nap time. Um, might be something relaxing she could do. Or maybe she just wants someone you have so she could take a nap <laughs> while, while she has um, nap time. Okay. Okay. Is that a good idea? Mm -hmm. Okay. He gently leads. So we're going to start doing that. I'll help you in just a second, baby. I'm going to start with my... Uh-oh. Here. You got it. I'm going to go all the way around my half circle. And I'm using a light greenish blue. He... If you're running to know the end of the story with Judah and the fish hook, my sweet, amazing husband... Came home, he was at church getting ready for, um, we're going to have a drive-in um, drive service for, um, for Good Friday. Oh, good job, you did it. So he came home and he got pliers and we got on, oh, because we get, we're on the, a FaceTime call with a nurse practitioner friend, Jennifer Scott, and our amazing Maddie Scott, who just keeps us alive. So while we were there, she was FaceTiming us and she essentially walked us through how to get the fish hook out with pliers and oh, his little heart, his little screams, I think my heart just burst, not in a good way. Um, but I praise God that we did not have to go into the ER to get it out. So he got it out. And I'm very thankful for people like Jennifer Scott who would walk us through that on a FaceTime call. So thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Maddie, who kept us sane. She she tried. I tried to get it out. Ooh, it was quite the ordeal, wasn't it, Hopi? Yes. Tell them what you, what did you do? That was I was so proud of you. Tell them what you did. I was crying. Well, you were crying. crying. You were praying, weren't you? I was crying. You were praying. I was and, sad for Judah. I, I was just like. But did God answer our prayers? Yes. He did. So what we do, what we've done so far is just our cursive. He gently leads. So that's going to be our next one. We're following this, this line that we're going to erase. And let's see here. We also just had some friends who dropped off cookies to our doorstep yes. for us to decorate nice. the Wilmus. And oh, they made our day. 
I'm so thankful for people like that that would just go out of their way to make my kids feel special. And I think what an example in hard times to show my kids, hey, this is how you practically love people in hard times. You just let them know that they're seen and that they're loved. Just hopefully like we'll let a little mama know that she's seen and loved. (laughs) Thank you, Hope. Be your amening because, yes, I need that. He gently leads those that have young. So uh, the word those, we're going to follow our little semicircle right here. And I'm going to do a block lettering, but follow that line to the best of my ability. But I'm going to leave a little space so I can come back and I can, um, I can come back. Well, let me make sure this is focused, but, um, and erase that semicircle. So make sure you have a little bit of space so you can erase it. Is there a sun? Is there a sun? Yeah. Uh, you can do a sun. Do one right there. That would be pretty. Oh, yes. Do you want me to do that for you? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that for you. Now, I can help you with your cursive if you like. Yeah, please. Okay. He gently leads those. Now, right here, I'm not following the semicircle quite because I brought this Y down. A little mistake. Would you like for me to show them that? Okay. Hold on one second. So, New Life Church. It does. She wants me to show you this. It says New Life Church. There you go. <laughs> Do you want to invite them? Say, come to New Life Church. Come to New Life Church. <laughs> You're so sweet. Those that have young. So right here, I'm going to follow these lines. They get bigger, smaller, and then a little bit bigger again. So that's what we're going to do right now. Hey, Sister. Sister Sue. Okay, there you go. Here's yours. Okay, I'm helping Hope too. Okay, we're taking turns with whose paint day it is. Those that have Who's young. Yellow? Oh, it's yellow. Ooh, I like yellow. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, that's good. Thank you you got enough. <laughs> okay, those that. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, here's a mistake that I just did. You can try not to do. I hear someone, don't know. Are they obeying? Okay, right here, this is touching, and I would prefer it not to touch. So if you can, if you can make yours where it's not touching, that would be even better, but... I've already done it, and when, unfortunately, with watercolors, you can't really fix that. So, without it being terribly noticeable. This. Those, that, and on my T's, I really like to do a curly Q to cross it. I think it just looks fun. Those, that, and then I'm going to do my have in a block lettering. Have. Hey, love by. Okay, you're doing that. That's That's good. Okay. (laughs) Hope is my little cuddler. Do you cuddle with me? Yes. It makes my heart so happy. Do you know that? Yes. (laughs) Okay. So here, I'm going to come down. I'm going to bring around Young. So this is kind of a crazy Y. I think it's you think it's not? Mm-mm. You like it? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my G down yes. and fill that space a little bit. Okay. My age looks terrible. That's okay. You know what we could do? We could wait for it to dry a little bit and come back, and we can highlight it, okay? Ooh. Or we could, like, walk, like, draw around it with a marker. That might be it's good. Like if you have a young artist like I do, I have a few, <laughs> um, markers are probably your best bet as far as the wording goes. There, yeah, use that. Now, you know how to spell he. That's one of your sight words. Um, what do you think? This looks so good. Okay. 
He gently leads those that have young. I'm going to get my tiniest brush, and I'm going to come in here and write my verse reference. Isaiah. That looks really good. Look. I want you to go right here above, okay? And write he, right here, he. Mm-hmm. Yes. You can do it. Okay. Well, I'll do it in cursive, but you'll have to wait. Is that okay? Okay. You could even paint the sky if you like. Why don't you do that? No. Okay. Well, how about no thank you? No. No thank you. Hey, did you change your clothes? What happened to your cute banana outfit? So here we go. I am just adding that photography on the down stroke. I'm just thickening the line. Isaiah 40, which is an excellent passage for right now, just in general. Yes, ma'am. You think so? Yeah. Because it's all about comfort. He gently leads those that have want young. Isaiah 40, 11. And it's actually 11B if you want to get specific. Can I have another um, paper? Can you have another paper? No. Wait, a napkin. Oh, a napkin? Yeah, you can go get one. You know where they are. So now I'm coming back with my eraser, and I'm going to come and erase my little lines right here all the way around. I'd love to know the little mamas you're going to send yours to to encourage them. You could even take a picture, send it to them, take a picture and post it, encourage a bunch of young mamas. Here we go. Hopefully that, that erased very well today. <laughs> I say let that dry. Draw, do, the, do the sky and we're going to come back later and do your lettering and marker. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now for my little eggs, I'm going to do them in a very light blue. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. I'm going to hopefully make little robin's eggs in here. Uh, I love that robin egg blue. Um, you like it? Yeah. Okay. And by this time, hopefully some of my other paint has um, has dried. And so I'm going to come back and do a little bit more shading and detail in my, little. In my nest. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got paint on my chin. You got paint on your chin? So right now I'm just adding little little bristles coming out from what little I've already bristles. done. Little bristles. <laughs> little pieces of dried grass all over. Trying not to touch the eggs because I just did them. So that's going to... And again, I'm doing kind of little X's all over. And I'm going to do more color right here because it's just... We're going to pretend that's a sh like a shadow. The shadow of the... So here we go. We are going to add... I'm sorry. We're going to add a little bit of darker brown along the edge of the tree. Again, to create that, that look that it's a shadow. So I'm just... On every branch, I'm going to try to hit it just a very little bit to add dimension to what we've already painted. I am not gonna do it right like underneath my Isaiah just cause that would get confusing. That would get confusing on where my letters were. So right here I'm gonna do a little circle, kinda how some branches have little parts where the branch has broken off. Hope you just got a mom buck. What are you gonna buy in the mom buck store? You don't know. Okay, so we've already erased. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna come in again with the, the same color blue, and we are just gonna do a nice little wash. A nice little wash of color. And we start with the color up top, and then we bring it down slowly with water. And again, not trying not to touch all of our letters too, like try not to get too close to them. 
But I love this scripture, and this was what I clung to, especially when the triplets were little. It brought me quite, it was posted everywhere in my house. And uh, this time of being quarantined has kind of reminded me of the time when the triplets were little. That looks great. We're going to let that dry, baby, and then we're going to add your verse later, okay? Do you want to get a cookie, or would you like to start on a new, another one? Another one. Okay. And I want you to do all of it. Too. You want me to do all of it? No. I can do some. I like the way you do your art. No, it doesn't. Because you made it. Can you tell them? Tell them what do you love to do above all the things? What's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do is just go to Disney World. Go to Disney World? Have we ever been to Disney World? No. No, we have not. Can we go to Disney World? Oh, that would be so fun. It's very expensive, sis. And One time we went to Disney Did we? Disney on ice. Oh, we went to Disney on ice. We did. That is more in our budget. Yes. Disney on ice. Disney on Ice. Well, maybe we can do Disney on Ice again. Yeah, I'm going to go and let this dry. Okay, you let that dry. So here is my... That's what I've done so far. Now, if you wanted to get really creative and you had some time on your hands, you could bring in some black with your tiny little brush or even a fine tip Sharpie could work. And so I, I'm going to just highlight gently right now, but you could do every word if you wanted to. Oh, it's not plugged up. Oh, yeah, you can plug it up. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just touching as if the sun was shining. This is where I'm, I'm just going to touch the side. I'm just pretending the sun is shining on these letters. I'm trying to figure out where would it hit if the sun was shining on it. This afternoon we have a big day. We get to go see a friend whose birthday and drive by the drive by his house. Oh, but I was saying the quarantine reminded me of having the triplets Wait, because his whole boy, his 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 <laughs> birthday is, is after Eli's. Yeah. Well, but he's older than you. He was born a year earlier or a couple years earlier. Okay, he gently leads those. I did all of this mess. That's okay. I make a mess when I paint too. So I'm just going to choose to highlight a couple words, but you could do every word if you wanted to. <laughs> do you like do you like mimicking me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, love bug, can you not do that just for a second? She's cleaning the table very vigorously, which is very helpful, but not when I'm trying to do the letters. I just, I, oh, just softly. Okay. So, gently those, and then I'm going to do young as well. He gently leads those that have young. Hang on, love bug. But I definitely think the triplets prepared me for the quarantine because when they were little, we did not go anywhere. But the hard, the hard thing about this time is when they were little, everybody came and saw us. They came and held babies. And What about the coronavirus? We won't there was no coronavirus when you were little. There wasn't? No. Wow. <laughs> Wow. That's wow, isn't it? Is this okay, the so no. Yes, we're learning. Okay, so down here in the tree, I'm going to sign. I don't like coronavirus. Me either. Me either. He gently leads those that have young. I don't like but I tell you what, my young have definitely kept me laughing. So yeah, yeah, we don't like to get sick, do we? Okay, so what we're doing now is just highlighting our eggs. Just so they kind of pop off the page. If you wanted to even do a little bit of... 
<laughs> what are you doing? You don't? Okay, so I'm doing a few more twigs. My singer is accompanying me. But this is what we have today to be able to encourage somebody today. Should we go show them what everybody's doing upstairs? No. Or do you want to say anything? Hi. <laughs> Can you tell me something about your day? Good. Yeah? Tell me something. What was the best thing you got for your birthday? No. Um, I think I, I got this favorite thing. We got It's say the name is no oh was it a wedding dress yes she loves to dress up and play wedding that was her favorite thing <laughs> i hear them doing gymnastics upstairs you think they're doing gymnastics um, yeah. hopefully no one's getting a fish hook in their foot again yeah. he gently leads those that have young have a great day <laughs>